Hey guys, how y'all doing? All right, all right. Uh, getting ready to uh, have to spend a little time with you guys. I want to talk about something very dear and close to my heart with you guys. Uh, I want to spend a little time to pray with you guys, and I want to talk about moving forward and some things we're going to have to do and some things we're going to have to not do. So uh, I want to start off while I wait for a uh, lady, uh, Kenyatta, to get here. Uh, she's running a little late. But I want to just talk from the heart from you guys. And I just want to tell you some things and come clean and help you to understand some things. Basically, uh, I've been re through a recent divorce and uh, uh, I really, really, really feel really bad about it, but I got remarried and I feel really great about that. Uh, but there's issues that came out of it and you can uh, look at my life and you know, and think that, uh, I don't know, man, divorce, the pandemic, all the stuff, bad decisions has brought uh, me to this particular point. And uh, so I want to first apologize to New Life Ministry for not being a better pastor, not being able to maintain things as I should have and kept things in decent and order. Uh, we've been going through some pains for years, but nevertheless, it's brought us to this point. And I thank every one of you guys for all your love and support in New Life Ministry that you brought to my life and ministry. It's been great. Now, don't get me wrong before you go too far. I will forever do ministry because uh, it's part of who I am. But uh, the bad news is that uh, we have not been able to maintain the house of God to keep it up. Uh, the pandemic hit, and that was one thing. We was able to make it through that, but the divorce was a bit something else. And... Uh, that was a great stone Then the pandemic and it couldn't keep us and we lost a lot of people throughout that exchange. Uh, my God, this is so hard and uh, it hurts my heart so bad. But uh, we get into the place where we're going to have to transition and what I mean by that, we're going to have to sell the building. but. We'll continue the ministry online 100%. The Bible studies, the worship services, we can continue to do that. But we are in the corner now where we have to. Uh, and I really want to apologize to New Life Ministry because I probably should have told you guys this first that we was at. But I kind of like been telling you all the while. We're not bringing in the money that we used to, and we've been asking everybody to send some donations, and everybody's doing what they can through these hard times, though. And so I don't blame nobody, but I should have been more strategic about this and more upfront. So that's what I am in the midst of apologizing for. There are so many things that uh, I could have done better and I just feel so bad by having to lose the building, not the ministry, the building. And, uh, and the building is not the ministry because the people of God are the ministry. And so, uh, but I just thought it'd be a good time to just let you guys know that uh, uh, we are in process. In fact, I'm meeting with a lawyer tomorrow to discuss the process on how to move forward with the dissolving of the building and hoping that somebody else, some preacher, some uh, can get it and find the glory in that and use it to edify the kingdom of God. But uh, 
I, I, I've been doing this for a while and uh, I've gotten to the place now where I want to not be so bothered by bogged down by financial gain and not being able to do it, even though I feel bad about this. I really do. I, it's not the hand I fan with. But at the same time, it is my reality at this time. And uh, New Life Ministry will live as an online ministry, and we will not have a physical place to land very soon. Uh, we will be plotting out how to get out of uh, from under this uh, note and uh, trust God that he send the person he wants to take it up and the building that is and run a touchdown with it. Uh, so I'm starting here with that. I will be personally apologizing at the church to my congregation, uh, those that we have still there. They love me, I love them. They love us and we love them. And uh, But it, it brings us to the point where our reality is our reality. And uh, I just wish so much that there was something we could have done to change the destiny, change this in, to rewrite this. And uh, But it is what it is at this time. I'm asking, petitioning you guys to continue to pray for New Life Ministry. As I say, we're losing a building. New Life Ministry is not a building. It's an entity, an organization by God that God has put together. And there's been some individuals that have been stellar throughout this process and has loved me so much, me and Kenyatta, have loved us and put a lot of faith in us and a lot of hope in us. It's just the fact that some things had been in motion too long and it caught up with us. Uh, the continual uh, bouts with my wife, ex-wife, uh, it just was horrific for the church. Back and back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And, uh, and man, I tell you, divorce is a terrible thing. Divorce is a terrible thing, but, and it, it kills, it tears down. There's nothing good in it. And I'm just wanting you guys to know that as a man, uh, and as a man of God especially, I am so sorry. I know some of you know about the divorce already and everything, and, but, uh, you know, uh, we just can't, I can't, and we can't pull it off no more. So. I don't know when our last day gonna be in the building, uh, but I'll be talking with the lawyer tomorrow as we sit down and try to strategize how to bring some sanity into this insanity, all right? But I'm doing this especially because I want New Life Ministry to hear and know uh, and I'll be reiterating that Sunday as well in person with them. Uh, I want you guys to continue to pray for New Life Ministry. Continue to pray for me, Pastor Foy. Continue to uh, uh, lift us up. We don't know what God could do through this. And we thinking of other areas, we exploring other things to do, but uh, nothing is concrete, but we taking it one day at a time. And uh, if this is devastating to any of you guys, just know that it's not more devastating to you as it is to me. I so love doing the work of God, which will not stop, but it will change in the way it's, it's done. And so and that's where we at today, and that's what's going on. So again, I want to just put that out there. I, I want to pray with you guys. I want you to know I love you guys. I appreciate everything y'all been doing. Uh, you've been really giants, stellar giants as we stand by this ministry. We came back in 2009 and started this ministry back after Hurricane Katrina knocked us down to our knees. and. Uh, 
but this time I don't know if we'll be able to come back from this. And, uh, and I'm hurt about that. I feel bad about it. Uh, if I wasn't on camera, I'd be crying. Uh, but at the same time, uh, I carry a lot on the inside and I pray God to give me the strength to rise up above this. Uh, Kenyatta is right here if she wants to come sit and say something, but it's been hard, guys. It's been hard. All right, it's been real hard. And uh, if nothing else, I just want you to know, I, I, I plead, I want to secure your love, your prayers, and your hope, knowing that uh, God may shut one door, but he opens another. And I'm not even saying God shut this, because this could be the hand of the enemy, clearly. But at the same time, uh, there wasn't the wisdom that needed to be applied to help this ministry strive. And, uh, and I was caught up in a lot of my own sorrows and sadness and all of this stuff, trying to adjust to life and all the stuff that come at you. And uh, just come to find out that life ain't, it's, it's, it can be very difficult and cruel. But nevertheless, my faith stands sure. God be my witness that I will continue to proclaim his name. Never stop, I will continue to love him. I will never stop that, I will continue to do whatever he asks me to do. And uh, I, love, I stand with God and I stand for God. And uh, I don't wanna make this out of big old mockery or anything. But I want you guys to know that I genuinely care about each of you, those I know and those I don't know. I care about all God's people, everybody I care about. And uh, this is hard and it hurts, but it's the reality. And uh, again, like I said, uh, I want to pray with you guys. And since I can't hear you, I'm going to pray with you, for you guys, so as you go, whatever your journey is, whatever you're doing, that you keep your trust in God. Love Him. Never forgive Him. And put no one or nothing before Him. He is the one that we all need to bow down to. All right, some things don't change. Would you bow your heads with me? Father, I so thank you right now for who you are and what you mean to us in our lives, God. Thank you, God, for the years that you have given me during ministry, God. When I think about that little wimp that came out of prison, God, and you allowed me to go to seminary and, and, and start a church, God, way back in 96, 1996. And God, Hurricane Katrina just knocked our legs from under our feet and we thought we'll never rise again. And yet in 2009, you saw fit to give us another running start. And God, we was able to purchase yet another building. And the one we lost during Katrina, we was able to get it again. And God, and we just desired to be everything you want us to be. But there's a real devil, a real enemy. And God, he wants to seek, kill, and destroy every believer. You know that you wrote it. But I thank you, God, that in spite of everything, you're still able to preserve. You're still able to keep. You're still able to flourish, oh God. I pray whatever direction you're leading us, I pray for your guidance, God. I pray the even though we wasn't able to maintain that building, God, this building we still have, which you want to occupy and live. Please, God, be everything that we need you to be in some. Because at the end of the day, we can't live without you. We can't make it without you. We love you. We thank you. We praise you. Now, God, Bless your people. They have been faithful. They have been following us, watching us, supporting us. 
but God. We just fell a little short and with finances, oh God, and I'm sorry about that. And I pray for all your all forgiveness, God, when it comes down to the things that I've done that may have been wrong. God, I pray that you'll forgive me. Now, God, I thank you for who you are and what you mean to all of us in spite of us and all the wrong that we oftentimes do. Thank you for being a forgiving God, a loving God. Now, God, whatever the building is to become, I pray a blessing on it. I pray your spirit in it, God. But more than anything, I pray your spirit in me, your love for me, God, and that you stand with me, God, and help me be the person that I need to be and do desire to be. Now, God, all your people that love you, may you be with them strengthening them, helping them to move on in life, to move forward in you. God, be everything that we need you to be. We love you, and we do thank you. Continue to pray for New Life Ministry. Continue to know that we love you and that we're going to be praying. We're going to be doing Bible studies. Uh, there won't be any today. But uh, I'll probably take a week, uh, uh, I'll take some time off or something and do some praying and some fasting, getting with God. Uh, I will continue to do ministry at the church until we have full direction for what God is doing and what we need to do. Even at this point, God is real and he's still in miracle working business. Who knows, there may be somebody out there that is willing to help this young ministry, this ministry out. So, but if not, all is well, because we still have our God, our Lord, our Savior. Amen. Continue to pray. This is Kenneth Foy, Pastor Foy. We will continue to do what we do, and that's love on God and be about his business. And we want to be praying that all of you be strong in the Lord and get your lives together. Whatever you do, don't let them come back and catch a shot. Don't let them come back and catch a shot. A lot of the stuff we would have went through today in the book of Hebrews, the full chapter, would have been about entering into God's rest. That's going to be my focus, how to make sure and guarantee that we are entering into his rest. Because that's what we want to be. We don't want to live for X amount of days or years and, you know, spend all this time with God and wind up in hell, lifting up our eyes. I want everybody saved, everybody under the sound of my voice. If I can make a difference in your life, I pray God that he'll give me the opportunity to because I would love to see all of us receiving Christ as our Lord and Savior. And not only that, but living for him in obedience. In obedience. That's what he really wants. You got that? Take that and run the touchdown with it. God bless you. And may God keep you. And always remember, I love you.